from the Bronx, MLB Network brings you baseball from Yankee Stadium. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Oakland A's and the New York Yankees. Looking forward to this matchup, and it's next on MLB Network. Max Scherzer will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy is doing quite a job against lefties. He's held lefties to an under 200 batting average to start the season, so he's doing a lot of things right when the lefties step into the batter's box. Next up for the A's, Johnny Damon. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The 3-2 pitch is a called third strike down in the zone. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference in this game. I was so impressed with him last month. He had 25 runs batted in. I was looking through the stats and it said 25 RBIs, and I had to do a double take. That's when you're picking up your team and helping them win games, too. Striding in for Oakland, Chris Davis. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. All day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Davis is retired two down now. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Ready now, Reggie Jackson having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. Just getting started here in the Bronx. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More of MLB Network's Saturday baseball after this. Andrew Triggs is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. On the bump now is Andrew Triggs. Not your conventional over-the-top, more of a low three-quarter guy, sinker-slider type of guy, but he does throw hard. Here's Bryce Harper now, and he's carrying a batting Lead average of just Yankees. over 300, so That's clearly he's been a productive player right. with the bat in his hand so far. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. High pop up. Luke Roy has a play. He's got it one away. All right, guys. So here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five, fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. So the base is empty here with one away. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is Davis. Out of here, into the Vigilers' bullpen. A solo shot here for Paul Goldschmidt. Home run number nine on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. 
And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Batting in now, Gary Sanchez. Gary. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. They'll come into play here at 319. Six home runs and 22 RBIs. In for a strike, it's one and one. Triggs is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch from this guy. At times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances around the strike zone. He has good stuff, but when he falls behind in the count, he tends to nibble a little bit. And then when he brings the ball into the strike zone, and when he does, he becomes much more predictable. And what happens with that? The hits per nine innings tend to go up. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Jake Lamb standing in now. Line to the right side. But there to take it in is a well positioned Lowry and the inning is over. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We've played two. It's now one nothing New York. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on MLB Network as we're set for the top half of the. Riding in once again, Aaron Judge set to lead us off in the home Ryan half Freeman. of the fourth inning. Aaron Judge. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. One oh home and a hard sinker there chopped foul at home plate. Here it comes on one and one and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw on to first in time, one away. At the center fielder, number 27, Arn Brown. So one away here with the bases empty and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Here it comes. And here's a slider that's nowhere close and it's 1 and 0. The 1 0. Here's a slider that misses below the zone. Trout. Playing here in his age 26 season, he was selected in the first round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. 3 and 0 to him now. The 3 0 is in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? 
That's better than him putting one in the seats. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout, number 13 for him on the year, and this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. After this pitcher sat down six of his teammates in a row, he was looking to break through against him with anything. Well, a home run will definitely suffice. Great job of breaking the string and getting his team going right there. Here's Bryce Harper now. And she'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He popped out in his first trip. Owen oh, one the counts of Bryce Harper behind Owen oh two now Two once more. Swung on and missed strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. The 1-0. In the air now, out to right field. Jackson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We played four. It's now two nothing New York. In is the catcher Jonathan Lucroy. A base hit in his first trip. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. Fly ball right down the line and left. On the move is Kiermeyer. He's there and records the first down. So another oh, exceptional man. effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. The hitter in this situation has to understand that this pitcher is on the attack, looking for a quick inning. If there's something in the heart of the plate, you better pull the trigger on it. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
Kiermaier is underneath this one and he's got it for out number two. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Johnny Damon. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And Damon watches one that misses for a ball three and one. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. The 3 2 pitch. Taken high and deep to right. Judge looks up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a solo home run for Johnny Damon. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the A's are on the board now. It's a 2 to 1 ball game. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like this with pop at the plate can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. Here's Chris Davis now. As you'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. And that one just missed outside. Two out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. The A's strike for one on the solo homer. Halfway home from the stadium, it's the Yankees two, and the A's one. Standing in, Kevin Kiermaier. Fly down in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Kiermaier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one just missed outside. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there, that backdoor slider. That's a very difficult pitch to throw, and particularly throw for a strike. Just missed that outside corner right there, but a good pitch and a tough take there by the hitter. Nope. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Hit hard on the ground at first. Oh, what a play! It's there. He got him. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made the great stop, still had to make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate that one. The 
a speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Into the second deck and gone. Trey Turner with a solo shot. Third home run for him on the year. And it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ball park in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, Dero. But you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this oh, place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big gaps, but right field is so juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Hits are even right now at five aside. In there, and it's even at one. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Now the 2-1 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on-deck circle. One out, nobody on. There's ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Emilio Pagan enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Mike Trout will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. First pitch coming, here it is. And he takes ball one. Pagan. A right-hander standing six foot three. He was taken in the tenth round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Two and zero oh now. Don't think for one second, after giving up already one homer, that he doesn't know where this lineup's headed. He's going to have to face the real sluggers right now, and he's going to have to execute. Three and oh now. Judge leads off first with one away. Ready with the three one. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Now the payoff pitch home. Mine to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time, it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. D-Row, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. First pitch of the at bat. Line softly toward the hole. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Boy, D. Rowe, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back to back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do in today's day and age of bullpen down your throat. You very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. As a look, now the pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Well, things are bad enough as it is right now. One run in, base is juiced, and now he's falling behind the count. You can bet the guy at the plate is thinking about making this a five-run inning in a hurry. 1-0 count, here it is. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with the slider. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. The 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Bases are loaded with only one out. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come into score. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too, and here he is again still with the bases loaded. Digging in and looking for more, Gary Sanchez. He's one for two in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. A ball and no strikes. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. Still only one out in the inning. Let's go, Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. If I'm on the mound, the guy gets a hack off on me like that and crushes a breaking ball down the line, kind of note to self, I'm not going there again. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. Jake Lamb standing in now. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Looking to minimize the damage here. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. Here comes the 1-1. On one, one. the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. He's got a chance to ring up back-to-back case -back here, and that would be huge in this situation. Oh, 
So two balls and two strikes now. Bases are loaded here, two down. And look out as that gets him. So that's going to bring home a run. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Digging in once again, D.J. LeMayhew. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Hit to third. Chapman brings it in. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. We're through six full. It's the Yankees five and the A's one. Back here in the Bronx, Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jonathan Lucroy. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high, so this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. The wind up and the 0 1. Eight. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. The one and two pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. That's and the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Set to deliver pitch number 120. Line towards center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Third baseman, Matt Chapman. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And the hook's coming with him as that'll be all for Max Scherzer. So we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the double. Chad Green comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Ready for another chance. Matt Chapman, a hit in two tries so far. Here's the first pitch to him. The cutter runs outside, ball one. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. Right. 
And that one stayed too low, apparently. Popped up. Goldschmidt shading to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. How about him? The center field, Johnny Damon. So two are gone now in the Oakland half of the seventh. And in steps the left-handed hitting Johnny Damon. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. Ouch, that one hit him. And I'll tell you, this is the last guy in the lineup you want to put on base for free. He's probably feeling a little salty after getting drilled, and he's got speed to burn, so look for him to try and make something happen out there. Striding in for Oakland, Chris Davis. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit, but if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Now a throw over back in standing. Damon is off of first with two away. Come on, get him out. Quick. Hit on the ground to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Reggie Jackson. Into the box now, Reggie Jackson. And she'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the 1 0 -oh pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Two men are on with two men out. takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Don't let him score! Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fouled off. Another full count pitch on its way. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 5-2 game. 
Boy, what a battle there, d -Rose. Several pitch at bat right there. He threw everything but the kitchen sink, and he was still able to get an RBI base hit. And, Dan, I can't tell you, the longer the A-Bs go, usually, I'll tell you, you get in that swing mode where if he throws the rosin bag, you're pulling the trigger on it. Wait for him to settle in his zone and not come outside of it and end up getting a knock. Jason Giambi is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. The 1-0 is a ball high and inside. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2-0. Too high. And it's 3-0. and If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Two down, runners at first and second. And it's fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. Count still full, three and two. Let's go again. Another payoff pitch. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Two hits lead to a run here for Oakland. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. It's the Yankees five and the A's two. Ryan Dull gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ryan Dull. Ready for another shot now, Lady Kevin Kiermeyer. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Kevin last time. Kiermeyer. Here's the first pitch to him. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. away with the changeup but it's one and one the one one popped up Chapman moving to his left and that's the first out of the inning now batting shortstop Trey Turner Trey Turner will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. No balls in one strike. Oh one, here's the pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. Five two, our score as we play inning number seven. Next 0-2. Oh, 
Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But just a wind up foul still 0-2. The next 0-2. Misses for ball two, one. one and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. The one-two is taken for ball two. Two two, and he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. On the run is Damon. Two gone. The right fielder, number ninety nine. Aaron Judge. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And that misses inside 1 and 0. Oh. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And it's gone as they add still another. home run there for Aaron Judge. Eighth home run on the season for him as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Center fielder Mike Trout as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. He's two for three and looking for more here. Come on now. And, and he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Changeup misses and it's full three and two. Bryce Harper would be next. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. The next three two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We're through seven this afternoon. It's now 6 2, New York. 
Adam Warren has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 43, Adam Warren. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. He's set. Here it comes. And a neck-high fastball that time. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. One oh count here it is lays off the fastball the way and it's two and oh. Two and one to the A's first baseman love the pitch call there two oh. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a changeup in the zone that's going to be a tough pitch to handle. <laughs> Nip the corner two and two. He's set here's the two two. 2-2 pitch just missed. Paul DeYoung waits on deck. Once again a 3 2 and a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning man that's just painful for a pitcher right there a 3 2 offering that was right on the corner but he couldn't get him to chase and he doesn't get the call can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung one ball no strikes the count. Olsen on at first nobody out. The one one home. This is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. The one two. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Jed Lowry waits on deck. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. The next three two and he lays off their ball four so back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. 
The batter to number eight. Second baseman. Jed, Jed Lowry, Lowry now. Head to head with Adam Warren. He's gone three for six. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Don't kid yourself. He's well aware that he has the hat trick right now. And after that swinging strike, he's looking at the golden sombrero. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal event at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Come on, the 1-0 is in tight as he moves to get out of the way. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. The 2-1. He's in there for the second strike. The 2-2 two -two is looked at and the count moves full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. First and second now, one man out. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Start of that swing a bit too early. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Well, he had big aspirations behind that swing. Pretty obvious he was trying to put four runs on the board in a hurry. The two two. Just hung in there on that one. On 
the ground is short. This could be two. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Yankees, number 30, David Robertson. Johnny Damon will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way up around the face. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little so we'll see how he deals with it. Runners on first and third two away. And that one stayed up a little high. Robertson, a right-hander standing just under six foot at 5'11". He was a 17th round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. 3-0 to him now. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. Fouled away. Runners at the corners, two men out. Three and two, full count. All right, three, two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The left fielder, number two, Brandon. Here's Chris Davis now. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. From the stretch. And he might get them all home as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch them all on the grand slam as they move out in front seven to six. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Outside and low, 3-0. and oh. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. In there, 3-1. and one.
Line toward the gap in left center. Kiermaier is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate. And this was the biggie here, the grand slam home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the A's seven and the Yankees six. Dennis Eckersley comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 43, Dennis Eckersley. Riding in once again, Jake Lamb. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. Ball one to start the at-bat. Now the 1-0. One and one the count now. The 1-1 one, one home. There's a fastball that misses. Now the 2-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. This is taken for ball four. So just like that, the time runs aboard to start the home half. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. First pitch of the at-bat. And that one got a piece of them. And this is the case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one, but he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer shows bunt as he gets this one down. And he'll just put it in his pocket. It's an infield single. Now batting. The shortstop. Trey Turner. So digging in now. Trey Turner. As he's got a chance to be the hero. Tying run at third. Winning run at second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Here we go, guys. Come on. The 0-1 on its way. A high fastball is in there. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0-2. Popped into the air, back behind second. And Lowry will look this one in for the first down. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's got the potential tying run at third, the winning run at second base. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball, and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Fast 
fastball called for strike two. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 0-2 once more. And it's fouled away. Ready now, two strike pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball from the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Mike Trout as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. a strike to even the count one and one snuck that high hard one by him without a swing but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with got to be careful doing that two big outs here but the tying and winning runs are both out there now a swing and a ground ball this should do it oh and it eats him up a bit go on to first will be in time to take care of him and the A's come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Well, that's what you call flirting with disaster right there. Tying run on third, winning run on second, but that's where they stay. Hangs on to get the save, and that's all that matters. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, 7-6 to six today. Oakland came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Ryan Gull earns his third win of the year in relief. Dennis Eckersley records the save, his 17th on the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian.